Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the NPC Power Hour. We're the Nintendo Power Couple, I'm Felia. And I'm Danny, and today we're going to be taking you guys down memory lane talking about Arcade. Remember That's those? right, <laughs> I love those. But before we jump into Arcade, we are introducing a whole brand new segment Ooh. called... Ask the Power Couple, where we'll be taking questions from the community and answering them every single week. That's right. We're so excited. You guys always send us questions in the comment section and on social media. So this is our chance to answer those questions and let you guys get to know us a little bit more. Absolutely. So what do you say we jump into this week's question? At the real GDRME asks, Hi, Danny and Philia. I wanted to ask, when you first made your first video, were you guys nervous or excited? I hope you answer my question. That's a great question. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Um, I don't know. We probably should have been more nervous than we were, <laughs> but uh, we were definitely really excited because we were planning on this for a long time to do with the channel, and we were just... Like, I guess once we had the episode ready, like we had our living room set, which we had to tear apart, remember? Yeah, it was crazy because there was a lot of sort of like pre-production stuff that we did to kind of get the show going before we actually filmed that first episode. So we made graphics and we wrote the script for the episode and like we're just trying to figure out if this is a thing that could even work as an episode. And then at the time we were trying to figure out where to shoot because as you guys know right now where we're at, we actually cleaned out this room and made it into a studio space that we could shoot in <laughs> because originally it was Ooh. bananas we were doing it in our living room yeah. and we were literally because one side of the living room has a glass window and we have to cover it with curtains well the curtains were what messed us up we had we were originally going to play on our couch though we were going to talk from our couch Felia made a nice um, blue and red couch cover to go over our couch. I literally and, like sewed <laughs> the couch cushion and... so it would look like, and I don't know really how to sew that yeah. well. Um, you so, sewed really well. Yeah. Yeah, I could do straight lines and figure <laughs> it out, but it was a challenge. But we tried to make it look like um, like Mario's overalls. Yeah. It was red and blue and had a little bit of yellow. So it was like this whole process we went through. But then when we tried shooting, the curtains were all like wavy lines. So yeah, we're like, it we gave, can't do this. The, the lines didn't exist in the curtain themselves, but the camera was picking up and made these weird wavy blue lines. So it looked like feedback behind us. So instead, yeah. we had to tear apart our living room, move all of our stuff into the kitchen, and then move the couch onto the opposite wall. And, and move the TV over to the other side it was crazy and we, stressful and yeah. we had days where we were because the mario kart took a couple days to film because we were so keen on trying to stay to a script and we didn't really know we were going with the show and yeah. it was a long episode and if you and what was really funny trying too, to figure out how to do it yeah <laughs> we didn't know how to you know convey excitement we didn't want to be like crazy you know crazy and zany so we <laughs> We thought we were more excited, but looking back on yeah, it, we, we wanted looked to feel nervous. authentic, <laughs> like, you know, not being zany, but really feel like it's us and you're getting to know us, but also excited about the game we're playing. Yeah. But then when we look back at it, we look so sad sometimes. <laughs> So if you want to go back and look at the first episode compared to now, you'll yeah. see a huge difference. But maybe it's just that we've gotten more comfortable doing yeah. this and that we, you know, uh, when we were doing the show for Mario Kart, which was our first review, um, we didn't know who was going to watch this yeah. or if anybody was even going to watch this. But now that we know there's people watching, it makes it kind of nicer to talk to the camera. And... Yeah, I literally now imagine like all of <laughs> you guys, like whoever talks to us on social media and in the comments, I kind of imagine whoever at the moment I'm thinking about and like that I'm talking to that person. So it yeah. makes it easier to talk to a camera, which when you first start out, it feels kind of weird. So I guess for a really roundabout <laughs> long answer, um, excited. Yeah, we, were, we were very excited, but we come off very nervous. I yeah, think. yeah. <laughs> so I, yeah. <laughs> on to the next question. Eric Yasha asks, if you had to choose a favorite series and you couldn't pick Legend of Zelda or Super Mario Brothers, what would be your go-to game or series to play? Now that one is a really tough question to answer, but ironically, I'm gonna have to say Animal Crossing, which is crazy because- a good choice. I actually didn't know about this game until like 
maybe three years ago when Danny just randomly introduced it to me one summer. <laughs> and I have fallen in love with everything Animal Crossing. I literally could play that game all day, every day, and I want one for the Switch. Please, Nintendo, please. <laughs> yes, I think I think you would freak out if E3 this year announced yes. a uh, Animal Crossing Switch. Yes. Look, you see, is the freak out please. just started happening right now. <laughs> Um, for, you? for me, that's definitely easy. It will be Star Fox. Yeah. Um, I absolutely love Star Fox, and I would go with the game that introduced me to the entire series. I think I, ha even though I had Star Fox 64, it didn't really sink in until. Um, no, sorry, sorry. I meant Star Fox on the SNES. It didn't sink in <laughs> until Star Fox 64. Yeah. Um, I remember playing the demo at Toys R Us and flying around in the R wing and having. Uh, Falco and Slippy talk to you. I remember feeling, and with the, and with the Rumble Pack too. I was like, I feel like I'm in an R wing, and I feel like the characters are really interacting yeah. with me. And it just, we had to buy it, and that was that was my go-to game. Well, what's crazy is you actually got to sit in an R wing at Nintendo New York yes. store. And How that must have been a dream come true. Yeah, and and we, we went to the um, it was a launch of Star Fox Zero on the uh, Nintendo Wii U, and we went to the event at Nintendo New York. That's right. Picked up our copies, and we got to sit and play in. The that R wing. Was really cool. Yeah, that was, I will <laughs> never forget that. <laughs> so, how about on to our last question? At the Snow Leopard asks, what's your favorite sandwich? This question, I think, is going to make me hungry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, my favorite sandwich is a cheesesteak. I love cheesesteaks. There is one place in New Jersey, uh, Davies Cheesesteak. Shout out to Shout Davies Cheesesteak. Davies cheese cheese steak. Steak. <laughs> it has the best cheesesteaks I've ever had. Um, I work nearby, so it's like if there's ever a chance to drive by, I'll run in and get one. It is uh, the, the, the melted cheese, the, yeah. the grilled steak. I'm gonna go get one right now. Oh my gosh, wait, we gotta finish. <laughs> so for me, it is definitely a Philly cheesesteak. Yeah, it's funny because before we started dating, a certain someone only ate like cheesesteaks and hamburgers. So you love the cheese? Yeah, I love cheese and <laughs> meat and cheese sandwiches. Yeah, I don't know. That's kind of a tough question for me. I don't really know what my favorite <laughs> sandwich in the world is, but I'm gonna have to say like a crispy chicken sandwich because yeah. like whenever we go to a fast food place or whatever that's usually what I get that's your you, your go-to yeah, food go -to. is crispy chicken whether it's chicken wings of, or it's yes. on a, in between bread it's, that's what it is it's the crispy chicken I love <laughs> fried chicken that's what it is yeah. crispy chicken sandwich <laughs> So uh, thank you guys all so much for your questions. Um, we took note of everybody else's questions that we didn't get a chance to answer this week. So it may come up in a future segment. Sure. So And also keep them coming. Keep yeah. the questions coming. <laughs> in the comments and yes. on social media for sure. We'll, we're really looking forward to answering some more. This is a lot of fun. Yeah, so thank you guys very much. <laughs> so on to today's topic, arcades. Now, I'm repping some retro yeah. going here. Arcades were very popular in the 80s and the 90s, but now you don't really see them as often. They're kind of making a comeback, I think, though. Yes, which yeah. is exciting. Um, for me growing up, arcades were a huge deal. When you walk into an arcade, there were all old cabinets all over the place, and there's pinball machines, and just the sounds of just everything. All these machines yeah. working at once, all the arcade games working. I loved it. Um, we used to go to Chuck E. Cheese all the time, and um, at Chuck E. Cheese, I was I maybe like three or four. I used to walk around to all the arcade cabinets, and I used to just like hold the joystick and hit the buttons. And I didn't, How adorable! Without putting quarters in, aggravating probably every gamer behind me. But I didn't. I thought that when they were having the demo showing the computer play, you probably thought you were so cool, like and good. The game. I was. I was like, look how good I am, you know. And I didn't realize that I wasn't playing. And there's like older kids behind you, all angry, muttering and stuff. <laughs> no. But um, what was what I miss about the arcades? Um is the camaraderie that happens. Um, I remember a lot of times at Chuck E. Cheese, there was an old vintage arcade where I grew up in Clifton that had all these cabinets like X-Men and Cowboys and Move Mesa and The Simpsons. Oh, The Simpsons was a really big one, The right? Simpsons was one of my favorites and the cabinets had the, the joysticks all around where you could choose your character by standing next to the joystick and pumping quarters in and it was cool because once you got to play together you kind of had this uh, like friendship growing with yeah. strangers where everybody's sharing quarters and similar to i guess how multiplayer feels like whenever yes. there's an opportunity to play together with other people it just oh. feels like more exciting and makes the interaction just 
more fun. Yeah, it's that couch multiplayer. I think that's why we kind yeah. of fell in love with couch multiplayer. We miss it now and we try to find it in yeah. pain. Because there's something about like everybody having the same goal, even if you're competing against each other, but yeah. especially games like The Simpsons or X-Men where you're having, you know, you're going to fight the boss and you know, every, you know, your friend just died. Like, here's a quarter, here's a quarter, go ahead. And it, it's really, it was, a, it was an amazing experience. Ninja Turtles 2 was another one Turtles yeah. in Time. Game, we played that on the Super Nintendo. And yes. Love it, but the arcade, it, yeah, I, I miss arcades. Well, for me, it's kind of weird because, well, growing up in Trinidad, um, I want, I vaguely remember this. I don't know if I remember it <laughs> right or wrong, but I vaguely remember that somewhere between my house where I lived and school, well, obviously my house is where I live, <laughs> and the school that we went to, um, there was an arcade somewhere in between there. Like, in my mind, I knew it existed, but I want to say that I have three older brothers, and I want to say that they were allowed to go, but I could never go because I was the youngest. <laughs> And if you know anything about like Indian culture or Trinidadian culture, it's like everybody is really overprotective of girls. I mean, we appreciate the protection, I guess, but still I wasn't allowed to go. So growing up, I actually didn't have any exposure to arcades. You missed out. Yeah, completely wow. until I was older and then fell in love with it because I could go. <laughs> we, we, um, while we were dating, we actually would go to um, Dave and Buster's, which yeah. I guess would be the closest thing we could kind of say that Adult resembles. arcade. There's a lot of games. A lot of arcades now don't have the old vintage cabinets that um, yeah, I kind of missed out on that because yeah. Danny tells me all the time about like all the cool arcades and like all the pictures on the sides and stuff, and I actually missed out all of that. And... Like I never got to see. It's funny because when you see it on movies and stuff, you're like, wow, that's magical. But your experience of it is completely different because I have never seen it with my real eyeballs. <laughs> I, I have the, I have the Stranger Things season two where it's yeah. like, we're above the arcade cabinet, we're trying to get the high score. You have those three digit um, high score that you could put in, which was easy for me is Dan. So yeah. that was easy. So I, you know, all the naughty words I could avoid and just yeah. put my own, my own in. Or just put them in anyway. <laughs> put them in anyway. Um, but it was just something that, there was just this magic to an arcade because even yeah. though you had we had you know the Nintendo and Super Nintendo at home, there was just something about being there and especially when they had prizes like Chuck E. Cheese had prizes and sounds so magical. I wish yeah. I experienced it. <laughs> well, we got to which was cool. We went to uh, what two years ago a video game con in yes. New Jersey and that you got was to play. really cool because then they brought back the vintage arcades and they had a whole room of them all over. They had new ones and old ones. We actually played Street Fighter. Yes. And not for nothing, but I kicked his butt a couple times. <laughs> which which I think was even more satisfying for you on yeah. the arcade cabinet. Yeah. You get to stand next to me. You and get to the, smash the button. Yep. <laughs> And we also played uh, the original Donkey Kong, which is a cabinet I want to own one day. I would love to own the original Donkey Kong in a game room. That would be Kong really cool to have room. a couple of original arcades. Yes. That would be super cool. Yes. Yeah. Um, so it was just something about it. We, As we mentioned before, Dave and Buster's we've been to. Yeah, actually, shout out to my best friend, Sheree, yes. and her husband, Aaron. Yes. Like, when they visited us, because um, they live out of state, when they visited us, we went to Dave and & Buster's and played all the old arcade games and stuff that they had there. I mean, they have some new ones too. Yeah. Um, but that was so much fun. You feel that camaraderie like you were talking yeah. about when you have your friends together and you're putting in the coins or <laughs> swiping your card now. Yeah. <laughs> but it's so much fun because you get to do it together and accomplish together. It was really nice. Uh, we did, I think we played Mario Kart. Right? Yes, and we raced it where they favorite. had the Mario Kart arcade where they had a little camera on the top and it would actually take your picture so that you That's could see, cool. you know, you're, when you're racing, if your friend passes you, it's like, there's Felia's face above that race, yeah. if I know that that's who you're playing as. And, and it's cool that they have the ones that actually have, like, a seat that you sit in, yeah. and, like, the pedals that you pedal at your feet, so you feel like you're in a car. Like, yeah. It's so cool. I remember even before, of course, way before driving when I was younger, <laughs> sitting and, like, playing the car racing games when you have the, the, the stick, and, and, you're, and you're doing the stick shift, and you're, feel like you're, and doing you're, it. And you're hitting the gas pedal, and you're like, okay, <laughs> I think I'm doing it, vroom, vroom, and, yeah. and it just felt like... Especially when you're racing too, because you're like, you're like you're looking at your pony, like I'm I gonna outrace you. Yeah, I can, <laughs> I can drive now. So I miss that, and um, I 
wish that it was, well, it is making, as you said, it is making a comeback. Yeah, what we're noticing <laughs> is at least the one near us is called round one. They just yeah. opened at our mall. And we're noticing that they're opening all throughout the US again, more stores. Um, and it's, this place is super cool. Like, Huge. Like not your tiny little hole in the wall in the mall, little arcade that has like four old games <laughs> that barely work. This <laughs> place is like decked out huge bowling alley karaoke oh claw machines with nintendo we plushies there's nintendo and splatoon plushies yes. and the one that is by us that we ended up playing through and winning so they have like the big yoshi toad mario the totally inkling totally impressed um, how kids. much nintendo stuff they have because yeah. they also have everything else like they have um what are they called fraggle rock stuff yeah, and they fraggle. have hello kitty yokai watch yokai watch i mean and splatoon and Mo it they actually have good stuff you guys and they have tons <laughs> of uh, arcades we didn't really see i don't see the old arcade cabinets with the old like retro yeah. Donkey Kong and, and Saja and Mario Brothers, but they have all the new updated games. Yeah. And they have Mario Kart there, and they have a all the different- A lot of claw machines. A lot of claw machines, a lot of shooters, a lot of racing games. Um, they also have some other, uh, I think, maybe video game titles. We were totally obsessed when we went to try to get as many like of the Nintendo plushies. Yeah. <laughs> but I think there's other um, gaming uh, related video games because they've there's had Rabbids. like other shooters and stuff. There was a Rabbids game. I remember Sonic uh, Olympics game. There was yeah. Sonic Olympics. Um, Space Invaders had a game there, a big Space Invaders. Not the yeah. classic retro arcade one, but it had like an updated Space Invaders. Tetris you see a comeback of there. With and a it's big... big and bright and flashy. So like, you know, for us, older generation <laughs> now, I guess, to yeah. go to a um, arcade and you still have fun, but it's so like flashy and beautiful and exciting. Like even if you take kids with you, they'll yeah. have so much fun too. Now, when we went to E3, we kind of had a little surprise. We had our amazing friend we stayed with, Chris Metcalf. Shout out to Chris. Shout out to Chris. <laughs> um, he took us to the Santa Monica Pier. And at the pier, we noticed there was an old arcade with retro cabinets in yeah. them. And that also had Luigi's Mansion, which I've been hunting for and yeah, dying to play. Yeah, literally, he's been talking about this way before we ever even saw it. I love Luigi's so, Mansion. He was really excited to find it. <laughs> so um, we got a camera ready for it, and we went to the pier, and here's what happened. <laughs> Oh, 
Hello.
unboxings, let's plays, uh, Mario Maker showcase, and much, much more. And be sure to check us out on social media. So until next time, thanks, thanks for watching. So that was so much fun. If you have an arcade nearby, especially round one which yeah. had it, go check it out. Go find Luigi's Mansion in the arcade and play it. It is so much fun. It's it a blast. It really is, especially with that poltergeist. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so once again, we want to say a huge shout out and thank you to Chris Metcalf, our friend. He not only shot that for us, but he also like put us up while we were in LA and showed us around town and took us on this fabulous amazing. tour. <laughs> um, so thank you so much, Chris. He is actually a union camera guy out in LA and is always up to super cool projects. So yeah. make sure to follow him on social media. Yes, thank you again, Chris, so much. We hope to see you at uh, the Summer yeah. of the Three, hopefully, fingers crossed. Play some Mario Kart. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so all this talk about arcades is making me want to play video Video games. So, how about we throw in our onesies for this week's funsies in our onesies? Hey everyone! Hey! <laughs> Welcome to this week's Funsies and Our Onesies! We are repping new onesies this yeah. week, Luigi. And DK. Yes, so I think we made a smart choice, smart um, yes. business choice buying these up. Business choice. <laughs> we saw these online and immediately ordered, and I absolutely love them. This might be my new favorite. It's so smooth. Uh, yeah, it's like that. <laughs> Um, now today, all this talk about arcades, we're going to be jumping into the arcade mode in ukulele for the Nintendo Switch provided by Team 17, so thank you guys so much. That's right, thank you so much. Now today, um, we're not going to go over the main mode, but we will do that in a future episode. Yes, it's, yep. it's, a, it's a great mode, it reminds us of Banjo-Kazooie. Yes. It's so much fun, but... All the sounds and the gameplay, <laughs> it's really fun. So what do you say, you want to jump into some arcade Let's mode? Let's do it. Alright, so... This is the main screen right here. We're gonna to go to Rextro's Arcade. Um, these can be enjoyed single player, 1P or two to four players. Um, now Rextro is the dinosaur in ukulele yes. who lives by arcade cabinets. So he's, he's one of our- so cute. He's one of our favorite characters. <laughs> <laughs> so you wanna jump into Rextro's Arcade? Yes, let's do it. All right, and there's ukulele. And that's my game. We have not finished the game yet. We're yeah. still playing through. Working our way there. Working our way through. It's a lot of fun. Lots of collectibles and the worlds are really big, but we'll get into that in now, the future. Now, here is Rextro, which was what we were talking about. Look at that, the four different colored buttons and everything. Yeah. So there's a whole bunch of different games. Um, there's Glaciators, Kartos Karting, Bebop, Jopsicle Course, the gun, the Guntlet <laughs> Run, <laughs> Hurdle Hijinks, Up and Over, uh, and Black the Flag, and an option to play them all, which is what we're going to do today. Let's play them all! So you ready? Yes. So there is the colored versions of ukulele. Yeah. And then you're going to join in. I always get confused because he's usually one player, but now they have one player as pink, which usually is my color, so and then orange is we're mine. all confused. <laughs> so we're going to play confused, so let's um, see what they... I, I We've never played the play them all function, so... You're going so. down! <laughs> uh, so Hashtag let's... team... Feel ya! <laughs> Who do you think is gonna get the most out of eight wins? Team Danny, right? Nope, 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 nope. So this down. is one of those where the um, it uh, level disappears from underneath, and you have to collect collect all as many quills as hey, you can. Get out of here. So and then the crown shows who is currently winning, which oh, I wonder who has that crown. <gasps> oh, I fell! Oh. Ah! <laughs> what am I doing? I keep thinking I'm the pink one. That's how That's terrible I am. No, this is a terrible strategy. And then there's there's power up. Hey. My, flower, my flowers. My feathers back. Your quills? Quills! I'm just swinging out like crazy trying to get you. Hey, EV. I like that they give you the crown so you know who's winning. Oh, no, get out of here. Oh, you haven't seen the crown because you haven't been wearing it. Is that what, is that what the confusion Fresh! Is? Okay. So fresh. I don't appreciate this. You're going down! Oh, so those, man. the power-ups with the skulls actually take away something. Like, it removes the jump feature. Hey, get out of here! Get out of here! <laughs> it could disable jumping. And it, and it turned into Street Fighter all of a sudden. <laughs> I think we're obsessed over that one corner. Oh. Ah! So reverse control. Oh, no! oh, it works for both of us! So... Get out of here. Lucky. You're lucky. I feel lucky being purple now. I'm fine with this. No. 
easy being <laughs> Not easy being green. Ooh. Attack! Run! No! Every time I hit ah! you, oh, there we go. I know we keep bouncing it back and forth, so it's like you have to attack each other. I'm gonna be smart and just chill. I'm gonna grab. So the score's <laughs> pretty close. What are you looking at scores for? Don't come near me. <laughs> that's the, the that's the that's there's a lesson get. in there. That's what you get. Select. Oh, I see. Okay. Now this is the perfect game for me. Ah! No! 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 These reverse controls are so tough. You did on purpose. You sabotaged me. Of course. That's the that's the name of the arcade game. You got your attack to see. Oh, I was trying to, I was trying to do it backwards. I think when the, when there's two skulls on the on the bottle, it means that both players are affected, like this one. You're so rude. Jump is a safe. Cheating. She's gonna survive for a few more seconds. No, you don't. <laughs> Give me those. Give me those. Run. <laughs> Give me those. Get back here! No! no. Run, no. run, 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 <laughs> I think I won that one. Oh, did you get it back at the end? I think I did. Hopefully they tell you at the end who won what. So by, close. By 20 points. So close. No. <laughs> Good game. Ridiculous. Good game. Good game. Overall standing, so. Good game. I have four points and you have three. Unbelievable. At the, the end, that was so close, I had it. You're lucky. See, when you lose, you get a kissy. Oh, okay. That makes it makes me feel, feel better. Makes it makes you okay. feel better. Okay, I'll lose the whole time then. Do I get a kissy if I? Uh... No. Okay. See, that's a one, <laughs> one way street. Okay, so Kartos, which is like minecart racing. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to shoot me for? Oh. Lame! <laughs> Trying to get you. I noticed. There's shortcuts. Why are you taking like. shortcuts for? I'm not good at that shortcut. You disable our shoots. Oh. So far behind now. Why are you taking all the shortcuts? That's, that's, the, that's what all the cool people do. Oh, okay. Then turn one of the cool people, I guess. That's what happens. That's what happens when you think you're all cool. No, no, no. Stay on, stay on, stay on. <laughs> that's when, kids, that's what happens when you try to take shortcuts in life. <laughs> you know. Give me a second. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Nope. It is incredibly hard to steer. It is. It's like very, whoop, it's like very slippery. Yes. Anybody watching who's, who's going, ah, oh, that's totally easy. It's really hard to steer. <laughs> it's not but as fun. smooth as Mario Kart, but... No! Unbelievable! Told you I'd make it back. Unbelievable. <laughs> 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 Don't you want to go step in that fire for a minute? Hey, what is what are you doing? Oh I was trying to do the shortcut. I, no. I should have just stuck to it. I'm not good at that shortcut. Lap five. No, lap zero. You're, so. you're winning this one. You're already halfway there. Hashtag Team Danny. Nope. Oh, I just got slowed down. I slowed you down. I'm coming for you, buddy. I am coming for you. You're That's not right. This one. You That's better right. not win this one. <laughs> get away, get away. Can I like ricochet a bullet all the way over there? Ah! You got it, you got it. Good game. <laughs> I try to be nice to you. <laughs> this is what happens. I think that looks good. No, that looks horrible. You're only two points behind though for some reason. Whatever. I don't know. I don't know how the 
<laughs> How's the scoring going? But I just don't like that you wanted the carding one. Mm. I love carding, guys. But I usually win a Mario Kart, so. <sighs> Except I'm for the last. I'm trying to be a professional today. <laughs> So here's my here's my fear. We're gonna be wasps today. That would be nice bees. Bees are amazing and beautiful. Wasps. Ah! Where's oh so it's, okay. <laughs> so the key to this one is to try to sting as many bad guys as you can. We could sting each other. But that would slow be each rude. other. Slow each other down. Ah! You were way ahead. You don't worry about what I am. <laughs> you are way ahead. You don't worry about it. Little trivia. My family um, cares for bees. My dad's yeah. a beekeeper. So I love cool. bees. Get out of here. Oh, what was that? That was cheating is what that That's was. That's me trying to get the crown. Hold on. Go ahead. Go ahead. Unbelievable. I'll tell you, the, the, the honey that your dad reaps from the bees in Trinidad is better than any honey that I've ever had in my entire life. And I put it in tea, and you can have spoonfuls yeah. of it, it's sweet. Like this victory I'm about to have. Nope, fun. Cool. Oh no! Attack disabled! Uncool! I'll take care of it for you. Come over here. No, get out of here! Get, get <laughs> out of here! Get out of here! So I grew up with bees, and I love bees. That's the moral of the story. And they're amazing. And they save our planet. Hey, hey. It's close game. No. This is payback for that Mario Kart um, <laughs> debacle. <laughs> You're still worried about that? Uh... Okay, go ahead. From a Mario Kart debacle payback. See what this is, guys? Apparently it's payback because your loving wife you get a payback I lost why are you playing so good today today that's a lot of nerve it's so today. unlike it your usual <laughs> where's my lose kissy oh sorry okay okay <laughs> Note the husbands out there, remember to lose kissies. Yeah. You gotta, yep. key to happy marriage, <laughs> lose kissies. Um, okay, so this one we try to collect as many as we can and not ah! get beaten up in the obstacle course. There's no jump button, you're just running. And I look, you know That's hard. Oh, quill. What is it? Bad quill, so anytime you got one, it minus two. <gasps> How dare you. You could get... That's, like that. that's what happens. You could get caught in when the... you try to work against me. <laughs> that's the key to a happy marriage, rats. <laughs> Isn't it though? Where them quills at? Where them quills? So you can see the top of the screen. Let me do with your crown. <laughs> oh, I <laughs> you can press A to drop, but as soon as you drop. That one. Oh my gosh, I'm doing so bad. I'm trying to be sneaky, but it's not working out. Can I punch you? This? No. no. <laughs> okay. Can I punch you? It's a legit question. In slow motion mode now. I like these things because they're like they're they feel like old arcade mini games, which I really like. I keep dying. This is not good. You're so far ahead of me now. Get out of here. I'm only, ah, I'm only three uh, thousand. Five. I, this one. I keep getting squished now. Oh. Dad just got squished twice in a row by that thing, so now you're ahead. Way out. What did that mean? Look at you running ahead. <laughs> you have to win it. I, I forget what these characters are called, but I like them. The little goblin yeah. monster guys. They're cute. They remind me, back in the day when we used to rock Skylanders every night, yes. they remind me of the little guys. Like, Puffins. Right. <laughs> oh, I died. Get the <laughs> No! Go, 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 Get go. out of there! 
You know what this level is missing? Some punching. <laughs> That's what you're missing out of this one? You wanna... <laughs> <laughs> be able to punch you when you try to get past me. That crown. I literally got trapped in a spot. That easy, right? Literally, it's that easy. Congratulations on your fun. It's slow motion, slow motion, run, run. This is tough. It's so easy. This is. one is, to the finish line. Time to get all the quills. Nope. Run, 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 run. I think I won that one. I think I won that one. I think I won that one. Is that Did so? I win? I finally won I think one. You won. That's by a lot. Ooh, that's by a lot. Can't do math, so I don't know how much, but loser kissies. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think they were called lose kissies, not loser kissies. <laughs> it wasn't loser kissies. <laughs> okay, it's a closed game still. Yep, I still have a chance. I like loser kissies. <laughs> that was my favorite one. Loser I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> that's your favorite out of all of them so far, the one yeah, you won on. That's that's the best one out of all of them. <laughs> okay, what do we have? I'm s I'm I am i do not know the order of these, so I'm kinda curious yeah. what, we, what we come up with next. Because we just clicked play all, so yeah. we're just gonna play all. Okay. This one's fun too. This one you have to just kind of run back and forth. It reminds me of uh, shoot everything in the way. If you guys remember the arcade game Space Harrier, that was a good one. Same guy. Okay. Oh, here they are. Hey, get out of my way! What is this bogus thing happening right now? Strategy. <laughs> so we also got to work together and not put these guys out too. I think there were some bad bigger oh, ones. Oh, now you want to work together with me? <laughs> I'm gonna do it all on my now own. Now we're all then. friends. Nope. Now we're teammates. Ah! I'm, just, I'm just happily holding oh. up my crown. Why am I shooting up? That's so. Very close, just so you know. Why are you looking at scores for? You're awfully concerned with these uh, numerical uh, <laughs> grading of how good or bad we are. That's know? how arcades work. <laughs> ah, get out of the way! Uh, okay. I, I got, I got a rep, I got a rep uh, NPC Danny team. No, I think you have to uh, fall into that guy. Why are you hitting me and throwing me back here? Yes, I'm a uh, Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi's always up to no good. Luigi's getting crowned. Nope. Reverse so controls. Ah! What's this level? Rapid fire? Rapid fire. I don't know why I just automatically get shot. Grenade shot. Oh, why am I shooting like nowhere? You're so much, uh, like so many times I'm like looking at a character, but my thing is just like all somewhere else. I'm not so good at like shooting things. 1916 still. It's very close. Lose kissy. Lose kissy. Not loser kissy. <laughs> Yes, you're right. This is making me want to play the single player campaign. Yes. It's such a cute game. We're definitely going to play this. Yeah. It's, um, it has, does, it has that Banjo Kazooie feel to it, which I miss in games and platformers. I just love that the characters talk like they do, like back in the old Banjo days. Okay, so we have to, we could speed up. So we're in a track. 
Hey, why quills. are you stealing all my quills? Just get to speed up, pressing the R button. I didn't see that. Go check out our <laughs> Let's Play Mario Kart Deluxe, and it's the fourth uh, race. And you, uh, yeah, I'm well, not spoil it. I'll just say that <laughs> it was, uh, yeah, it was a little rough. Oh, I Did I just run you over? Yeah, you did. I don't know what was that. Are you kidding me? Up to no good all the time. So, I, I keep I apologize for not talking as much. I know you really <laughs> have to focus. You really have to focus. <laughs> Get out of here! Ah! Look at your score, though. Now look at it. Can't be back. Not be back. Good. You need to just accidental. You were gonna say it did, weren't you? No. You say go fall in a ditch. Maybe. It's still a close game. Not close enough. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Why are you so good at these games? The arcade, the arcade spirit wing. Oh! What am I doing? These are so hard. This one is the hardest one out of all of them. I'm enjoying this one. No. Nope. He's doing ahead of everybody. Let me jump there. Try to get a head start here. But it's not really working out. There's something ahead. It looks like it's ready for the craziness. Hey, what is that? Uncool, buddy. Uncool. Hey! Uncool! <laughs> I'm See what cool happens? Buddy. See what happens with the whole like hot tortoise in the hair thing? Yeah. You thought you had it all the time, but you never do until the end. There's a moral there somewhere. Lose kisses. Not okay. loser kisses. <laughs> it's We're so close! A two point game? Going down, buddy. You're fresh. You're fresh. You're fresh. That was good. That was so close. I like that you're How enjoying the ones you're winning you? at. <laughs> All the ones that she's losing though? at, she's like, Man, Are you enjoying the take. ones that you're winning a lot more? This Come one on. this one's hard. This one's cute. You see the flying? Mm -hmm. Do you see the flying? Collect. You gotta collect. <laughs> get out of my way, Freddy. Get all these things. This is what I miss in some of the old games too, like the um, side-scrolling arcade shooter. Yeah. Okay, I'm doing terribly in this one now. Ooh, must it's tricky. get my <gasps> crown oh, no. back. Let's get my crown back. Nah, you don't want this. It's so heavy to carry around. No. Yeah. And then you gotta always be careful in bad neighborhoods. Well, I got it. This is cool. I got it though. No, give it back. <laughs> Oh. Look at your score. Look at your score. Ridiculous. Hey. Don't you want to fall into the ground there or something? <laughs> Doesn't it feel like a magnet just pulling you down? No. Hey, I'm gonna just... Oh. Oh. You hit me oh. with your invincibility. That's what happened. Ah, no! I thought that was a special one and then I realized and too late. that's what happened. A little back on my shoulder. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. Unbelievable. I'll just pick up all the stuff back here. That's... This one's the worst one of all. No, it's really fun. <laughs> okay. I... I wonder if there's an X and then there's arrow. I wonder what the. I wonder what the 
the difference is? The difference is you're rushing me. I just kept that area just knocked my score down to really bad. <gasps> Unbelievable. I believe it. <laughs> I ran right into that wasp. But the weight of like if you if you drop, it's actually a lot harder because you actually get heavier as you fall closer to the ground, right? Yeah, it's like gravity. Yeah, so you actually can feel it. Oh, how wait? How do you have a crown? <laughs> you don't Hold worry on a about it. You explain your little gravity. I, thing. I was comfortable, I'm like. Busy. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. no, 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 no! Yes, yes. Oh, that just. Oh, uh, look at that! I'll just cruise to the end there. <laughs> I didn't. I did not even realize. That you were ahead. I was slowly like working my way up. Look at that score. That's pretty impressive for someone who's got 25 to 24. This is uh. I'm breathing down your neck, buddy. This is gonna be close. I think <laughs> this is gonna be a close one. I think so. You're going down. You're going down. You're going down. Hashtag Team Philia. This is a capture the flag, and you can beat each other up, and you have to hold onto the Our flag for the longest. <laughs> When you press those buttons, it has hazards that come up. Hey! 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 What? Hey. Anyway. Jump disabled. Oh, there's, oh, there's little bad guys in to try to mess you up, too. Oh, you have the flag? Wait a yeah, second. Yeah, I got one. There was one over here that I got. Please! Hey! Okay, kind of like Pac-Man. Those little guys. Wait, how do you solve the flag? You don't worry about what I got and what I don't got. You worry about yourself. <laughs> okay. That's a life lesson. <laughs> Run! Let's see, if you, if you have the flag for a while, it looks like it resets. Oh, I have the flag. Uncool. Uncool. All the bad guys. Get back here. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? Unbelievable. That guy is running after me. Ah! Get out of here, you. Fire. Okay, so when you get hit, it actually resets the flag. Oh, it's a flag. Coming for ya. Coming for ya! Try not to get burned! <laughs> Um, nope, nope, hey, hey, where are you going? Nowhere, don't worry about what I'm doing. Ah! <laughs> oh, when the bad guys hit you, it resets too. I love it had to be you, I was gonna just hang out. I'm rude. You're rude with an attitude. And that's so. Uh, yeah. Oh. Go ahead, you jump over the fire, see what happens. Oh! How dare you? How dare you? The enemies are getting fast, actually. Yeah, they really are. So tricky. Ah, get out of here. I'm gonna buy this flag. You have a flag. Don't worry about it! Burn! Burn, baby, burn! <laughs> get back here! <laughs> Slow motion. The bad guy punched me in the face. <laughs> Where are you going? Get back here with that. That's fine. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, bad guys were so fast. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hey. This 
might be a big part. Oh. It's 7.30 and 3.70. It's a 7.3 got reversed. Oh, is that what it is? That's what it is. Thanks for telling me all about the numbers. Or that's so. <laughs> Rexha would be disappointed in that attitude. <laughs> so let's look at the scores. <laughs> Get out of here. 29 to 27 is not bad. Fine. I suck at this game. There's some of them that I that was really good. Some of the mini games are way more exciting than some of the other mini games. Yes. Especially the ones that I won. I think that's how it Those were the went. best ones. <laughs> I think that's how it went. Um, no, these are a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We had a lot of fun. It does bring back that kind of arcade feel to it. Yeah. Um, we do have to try four player mode because I yes. think it would be a different scenario with four players because even more chaotic more, more chaotic fun. the flag would probably be a different game because you'd have four people running for the flag and yeah so i think we'll have to try to find a way to bring this back in a future game yeah uh, for sure gameplay video to do four player what do you think i think so that sounds like fun <laughs> so um again ukulele is available on the nintendo eShop right now thank you to team 17 for uh for providing us the game uh, we'll be going over, as we mentioned multiple times, um, ukulele single player, which is so much like Banjo Kazoo uh, Kazooie. <laughs> I'm so excited I can't speak. Um, so be on the lookout for that in a future Let's Play. That's right. And as always, gaming is better together. So until next time, thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. Hey, so if you liked that video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the Nintendo Power Couple YouTube channel, and follow us on social media. And if you want to support our channel, be sure to check out our Patreon or grab yourself some NPC merch. So remember guys, gaming is always better together, so until next time, thanks, thanks for watching! watching.